up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace honey it's today we're gonna get into a whole bunch of guerlain or is it guerlain products so if you all didn't know when burdoff goodman and bloomingdale's had their sales for like 15 i think 20 percent off makeup i went ahead and got some stuff so i got these two blushes from burdoff goodman i'm pretty sure that i found the concealer i wanted the if you all remember i talked about this natural perfection concealer from Guerlain that I want to try so I got my hands on it and then I saw Tina the fancy face with the foundation like last year and I wanted to get it but I was waiting for it to come to four and apparently a lot of Guerlain stuff or Guerlain stuff doesn't come to four so I went ahead and grabbed it during the sale so I think we'll be trying all this stuff on my face today girls to have those I also have the bronzers from who is it um NYX the butter bronzers, that was it called? Butter milk bronzer. So I went ahead and figured we could try those out. So I have shade number six and number seven because I wasn't sure which one was gonna work. If you all remember my makeup release last week, I told you I thought number six might not work. So I really ordered number seven, but then when I got number seven and I saw um what's her name? Um what's that girl? Um Coco swatches with it on, then I was like, well, this probably gonna be too dark for me because this looked like a red blush on her. So I was like, let me go ahead and order them when I was originally looking at that. I wasn't sure it was gonna work or not. So that's what we all working with today. I'm gonna have a luxury haul and a surprise in that video coming um, sometime next week. So you'll see this foundation again. You'll see it in that actual video. But yeah, so I'm just taking my Catrice the Hydrator Primer that they sent me in PR last year. And we're gonna go ahead and use this to prime my face i hadn't used it in a while so i thought i'd bust it out and you know try it again i have not used a hydrating primer i don't think in a while so i was like Let, let's try it I, i'm here it's here you're here we're all here so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on so what have y'all been up to this week because girl i did I feel like it's been the longest week of life. I feel like work has just gotten harder and harder. I don't know why. But lately, I just be like, I don't be having the energy and feel like doing all this stuff. I don't know if you all are like this too, where you have like ruts and you just feel like you don't feel like doing certain things. And I've been having that rut with you too, too, believe it or not. I'm like, I can't. Oh, I got the shade 6 neutral just in case anybody cared about which shade foundation I got. Oh, they take the bottom, the, um, boxes i didn't know that this was taped like this oh i did um get the elf blushes and bronzers too unfortunately one of my elf blushes showed up broken so that kind of sucked but you know i was like just gonna push ahead and i guess i'll like reach out to their customer service and see if they send me another one or something because i'm like the very tone shade always uh, uh, I mean, the very time shade broke on me, that's why I say always breaks on me. But that, I think that's the first time I've had an elf one break on me. Okay, I'm concerned about this shade a little bit because I don't know if this is shade Tina had or not. If Tina had this shade, it's probably going to be too dark for me. So let me grab a foundation brush just to be prepared. I'm going to just take this stippling brush from Real Techniques from Soap Collection a million years ago. That ain't the final day. Marshall and TJ Maxx later on. So I think this will be a matte foundation. Oh, yeah, see, it's giving very much to me like golden with a little bit of reddish in it so i don't know how i feel about that but this foundation is non-transfer proof high performance 24 hour care and wear infused with 24 karat gold and white peony with sunscreen of spf 15. it's like we really need all that that's not what appealed to me about it i just you know wanted to try a bougie foundation i found the sicily when i told y'all i wanted to try too so we will try that one in another video i'll probably try that one um saturday or Sunday maybe I don't know cuz like, I want to get wear tests done on these products but at the same time I want you know to still be able to try out everything I need to try out so I might have to try out I might have to wear this one Friday just so I can um, get the wear test finished on it or I might just stay up late and have the wear test finished on it tonight so I can try the um, Sicily one friday and that video can go up over the weekend because i'm telling y'all i've been wanting to try that one i'm going to do some more fragrance um videos too like telling y'all which ones i plan on using for spring and stuff like that and i never finished part two of my fragrance um collection video because i know that's gonna be a few parts series oh y'all look how orange i am no orange doesn't neutral doesn't mean orange girlane or galan like what if, no, I feel like it's Guerlain, so I'm gonna just stick with that one. But yeah, no, that's not what this means. 
it it goes on the skin very nicely like it blends out really smoothly it does look like skin i'm just not feeling how i feel like i look orange it's giving very much the vibes that i told y'all i feel like the dior forever line gives because dior backstage six neutral does not give this but to me this gets very much on and i'm like what is this what is this i'm looking at what is this i'm wearing what is this because no just no but like i said it looks very nice on the skin like i will definitely give it that like it it's very much giving skin like if i had a little bit more like i guess warmth in my skin for like the orange or whatever i feel like it would be perfect with right now it's just giving orange and i'm not necessarily crazy about how much orange it's giving but it looks nice like look at this concealer as a shade five neutral that's interesting because the concealer doesn't have the tape on the bottom of it the way the foundation did so i don't know if they scared the foundation's gonna pop off and cut through the hundred some odd dollars they didn't want to do that but here's what the concealer looks like i think this concealer is supposed to be part of the foundation collection that i um got from them and it's the for sale one year this is the um natural perfection concealer 24 hour wear no transfer so i have the shade five neutral in the concealer so let's see how it's looking okay so this is more what i wanted the foundation to look like my concealer shade because i feel like this pulls a little orange but i feel like it's pulling more golden than orange so i'm making that a whole lot better i'm trying to decide if we should put a cream bronzer on if we should just let the bronzer speak for itself and i'm feeling like we should just let the bronzer speak for itself so i'm personally going to let the bronzer speak for itself and you know not put on a cream bronzer underneath even though i am tempted so i might use a little bit more concealer than usual because i'm trying to get some golden undertone back into my skin i don't know what will set the under eye stuff with yet i'm thinking about just doing the hourglass powder that dion sent me the translucent one and calling it a day because i know i can't use a certain powder on my face because you know this foundation's already red and some of the new powders i got if y'all haven't noticed they have like red undertones to them like they make up for everyone for sure i do feel like it pulls a little bit more red than i would personally like so it's like i don't want to put that on because i don't want to be pulling red or whatever but at the same time it's like um that's one of my newer powders but i'm gonna probably have to pull the older one just because i'm like i'm not i'm not feeling it so let's go ahead and go ahead and fill it out i think i might actually set my um face off camera and then just come back and do the blush with you all to save us a little bit of time Cause I feel like this foundation actually looks really nice on its own and you'll see what it looks like once it gets set and I'm just gonna kind of blend this out plus the battery is slashing again even though I've only been sitting here less than 10 minutes so I don't know what's going on with that but oh yeah I'm loving the way that concealer looks oh yes honey so far the concealer is more of a winner to me in the foundation just because of the coloring of it but yeah it definitely looks nice and it definitely to me all these things do have a natural finish like they say they do so it's just like that natural I guess satiny-esque type finish if you will but it looks gorgeous anyway let me go get some powder to set my face with i think i'm going to set my face with the charlotte tilbury in the shade deep and then underneath my eyes i will come back and tell you what i set with because i'm not sure what i'm going to do and then we move on to these blushes okay girl i'll be right back okay y'all so i just used the wet and wild um clarifying what do you call it um powder underneath my eyes in the shade medium tan i remember seeing my girl it's glam exo beauty on instagram talking about how um she really liked that powder and i remembered i had it so i was like i haven't used this in ages let me go ahead and use that that's what's on our um under eyes and i think it looks pretty nice you know it gives a little bit of um like brightness to it but it's not like overwhelming so if you want a more true like natural like appearance i feel like this could be a good thing for you so i'm gonna take the shade eight and um what is this uh do butter product and show it to you now i heard some people saying number seven looks like mocha mommy from um fenty if you all remember i gave you all an alternative to the fenty bronze originally a while ago like the juvia's place set has coco naughty and mocha mommy in it and it's a two for one special so i don't know that this would necessarily be a good deal because i think that one is cheaper than both of these combined if i remember correctly because both of these combined be 20 i think that one's like 14 and it's like seven bucks a piece but I'll try to um, do some swatches in the future, but this is what it looks like. And to me, this looks like it has shimmer in it. So I'm going to swatch this one right now because I feel like this is the one I'm going to have to use in the summertime if I'm going to use this product. And it's just giving really red. Like, that's why, I, again, 
you all remember I told you in the um, new makeup releases that I felt like that was uh, the issue with that one. But anyway, let me get a bronzer brush. Start rubbing this all over my face, bro. Okay, so here we go. No, that's not the bronzer brush. Sorry, struggle bus. So, I'm take my Andrea Renee Peach and Pearl um, bronzer brush and use this. So, it's kind of big, but I feel like it should get the job done. So, let's go ahead and start the bronzer. Okay, so this. Okay, so it smells like vanilla. I'll just say right now this bronzer smells like vanilla. And this shade actually worked out perfectly. The one I thought might not work in the video. I mean, in the picture because it looked a little too light. But she's definitely working and giving all of what I need. So works for me i'm thinking i might just put the red one on the other side just so you can see what both of them look like on my skin tone right now because you know if you're um one shade darker than i am i might help to see it now because i will be one shade darker obviously in the summertime and it'll be helpful to you so i'm gonna grab another bronzer brush and just go ahead and put that one on plus i'm just curious to see what that one's gonna look like because if it ain't looking the way i feel like it should be looking it might be going back to um ulta or i'll just give it to my cousins because i'd hate to give it back to ulta because you know that means they're just going to have to destroy it because nobody else can use it because I tried it for one time in this video. So I usually just try to make stuff work for that reason because I'm like, I don't want to, you know, sorry, I'm going to be on your wasting product just because I accidentally ordered the wrong color or something. So if I don't return it and I don't necessarily like it, I'll probably just give it to my cousins and move on. I'm trying to remember, do I have a Juvia's Place bronzer here? If I don't, I'll just do like swatch comparisons later. When I get home tonight, so yeah, see, it's getting very much like red. I do agree with um, Coco Swatches that it's getting very much blush instead of bronzer because of how red the undertone is. But you know, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, and I definitely feel like it'll be better when summer comes. One thing I don't like is I feel like I see like a satiny like sheen to it. Can you all see that like on my forehead? Like the satiny is sheen, like there's glitter in it. That's what I hate sometimes when they get deeper shades. Like it has glitter like the one from um, Minted. If you all remember, I told you I didn't like theirs. I think my shade is like Yacht Life or something like that. But it has like this weird shimmer products in it. So I'm like, if it's bronzer, why do you think I want shimmering? The only shimmery bronzer I'm really into and about is um, the one from... Um, Becca and they don't exist anymore. So this is what the darker shade looks like. What's the name of it? Um, Butter Days. And then this is Do Butter. So I think I have the, the Becca one here. And if I do, I will swatch it in. I'm pretty sure it's here. Bag to the side for another video idea I had that I haven't started on yet. So I knew it was still here though. But see. I feel like it's giving very much the vibes of Maui Nights from Becca. Funny enough, Maui Nights is the first bronzer from Becca I ever bought. Now, this isn't my original one, I don't think. But y'all yeah, swatch them both side by side since we're both here. Let's see how it goes. So, the first one I swatched was Maui Nights, and the second I'm swatching is. Um, do butter or is it butter days no butter days so this is the becca one and this is butter days so if you needed a dupe for maui nights from becca this could be a good alternative for you because it's definitely giving that shimmery satinish effect that i feel like the one from becca does it actually gives more of that satiny sheen than the one from becca does the original one so found an accident accidental dupe child look at what um uh, and this is what the size of the face looks. Now, I'm gonna put a blush on each side, but I got the shade number four, which is deep pink, and number five, which is deep coral. So I like pink and coral blush shades, if you all haven't noticed. So those were the two shades that I got. So I think I pulled out, yep, I pulled out deep pink first. So this is deep pink. It's giving very much a similar tone to the ones from, what's that girl's name? Ariana Grande that just came out. And this one says, it is the Natural Healthy Glow Powder Blush. So that's what it looks like. Let's pull out the coral. These 
bronzers are very powdery from them just fyi and then here is deep coral so i like the way both of these shades looked online i have never tried a blush in them oh it has a hole for you to poke it out so i don't know if that means you can refill these or not i don't remember seeing anything where it said you can refill them it has the typical um terracotta um smell when it comes to their products like remember i told you the highlighter had a smell so it's that same smell that the highlighter has it doesn't say too much about What's wrong with these? But I know they are made in France. So let me get a couple of cute little blush brushes. So I got this one from um, Peach and Pearl and uh, um, Andrea Renee's collection. I know she said this is a highlighter brush. We're going to use it as a blush brush today. And then I got this one from Jacqueline set that like is similar. It's a little bit smaller, but you know, I figured it would. So, so I'm going to put the berry tone one on the shade with the darker blush. I mean bronzer. And then I'm going to put this one, the um, deep coral on the shade with a lighter bronzer so this is truly natural and really soft but it is giving a nice little glow and blending on easily i feel like they were trying to copy off the um dior ones in my personal opinion now the dior ones are very hardly pressed in the pan because of their insignia or logo or whatever you like to call it but i feel like this one does pick up easier now i feel like you're gonna have to pick up more just because it's supposed to be natural and you're gonna have to build it up but that's the way the average blush usually is it's rare, rare that there's a very pigmented blush to start off with like julius place is but the liquid i don't feel like there's like a powder one that i can think of off the top of my head that is very pigmented when you pick it up which is my personal preference. I do like to have a little bit more pigment than this when I first pick up. But it's given a good amount of pigment. And since I know the average person isn't like me and wants to pick up a lot. Y'all know I don't mind just sitting here for 20 minutes and piling on blush. So it's not that big a deal to me. But this is what it looks like. I think that's a really nice shade. And yeah. I'm here for shades like that. So it's definitely my cup of tea. And remember that's number five. So number four is the deep pink. So we'll start with her. Even though to me this is just a berry tone shade but they're calling it pink so i guess i'll go with it and like the cool shade they're calling i would call it peach but again that's what they're calling it so i'm just going with what they're saying okay so let's go ahead and pat this one on so since it's just like another like berryish type tone shade i'm not as excited about this one. like i'm more excited about the corally shade i don't know why i guess because i feel like I like shades like this when it comes more to fall, but do you all like shades like this um, this time of year? Because to me, this is more of like a fall shade. Like if it was truly like more a hot pink, like Ariana's shade that she came out with, with her bronzer and blush collection, then I feel like I'd be more excited about it. Because this is pulling more like berry to me and I just feel like you calling it pink because pink is popular right now, I, it's not giving me necessarily the vibe that I want. All right, I'm supposed to swatch both of them on the back of my hand. So I already see I'm probably going to have to build up the coral a bit more. So I'm thinking what I'll do is with the coral one, I will put it on with one of my cream blushes just so I can get more pigmentation out of it. Because because of the tone of it, I feel like it's not just going to do as much for my skin tone as the back. It's the one that's going to have to be built up the most. As you saw, I didn't sit there nearly as long building up the um, deep pink one before it gave me some good pigmentation. So. Just something to keep in mind, like if you're my skin tone, the two deepest ones, if you like the pink one, you won't have to build, sorry, if you like the coral one, you won't have to build up, but here is deep coral right here, and here is deep pink. Y'all see what I mean? Like, I don't look at that as a pink, I look at it as more like a fuchsia or like a berry, and I know fuchsia is pink, but like, when I think pink, I think like, you know, more of the hot popular pink that everybody's talking about, not more of a berry tone pink, and that's what this pink is getting, so I'm kind of just like, hmm... I'm not mad at it. I think both of them look nice on some of my skin tone. And I think it's important that they made colors to include everybody's skin tone. Especially because I feel like their bronzer is lacking in color. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Because I feel like their bronzer does lack in color. Or in shade range, I mean to say. But I know the Glam Twins back in the day like had a shade that they used. But I don't know if they just continued that one or not. Because I feel like it's hard for me to find. And I've been looking for it and I haven't found it yet. So I'm just kind of like... <clears throat> But let's just throw on a highlighter really quick so I can end this portion of the video because I still got an eyeshadow video to do, I got a new makeup releases to do, and then I got swatches to do. So I'm going to just grab the first highlighter in this box. Oh, the highlighter.
letters are Jaclyn Hill. So I guess we're going with the Jaclyn Hill Sun Lover. I think this is the, yeah, this is the gold dewy looking one that she had. So I literally just grabbed what's on the top and the highlighters that sit in here are usually the ones I don't reach for that often because I always have to test something new. But I want to have something close just in case something like this happens where it's like I'm talking, to, I need something and I don't have it. So I'm just going to take Sun Lover. I think her site, is, her website is officially closed and like all her products are officially going. I think, don't quote me, I don't know if Ulta still has some of them 50% off or what's going on with that. So no man, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to. Pile this one on. I remember liking these highlighters. Like I remember liking every highlighter she came out with. That was one thing she was always there to make a highlighter. I didn't try the lipsticks. I thought the liquid lipsticks were too dry and I wasn't personally a fan of those. Then um her powders were okay. It's just the deep brightening powder. Like I feel like it oxidizes your foundation and turns your skin darker and like more orange instead of brightening so it's like i don't want a orange kind of like look to my face personally so i wasn't a fan of that and i didn't get like the f the highlighter palette like for your face i just got that one shade because i found a tj max on the clearance rack for like five dollars so i was like i'll try it for five bucks and it was a nice powder it was just you know like it would be better for me in the summertime because I'm going to pull more red in the summertime. Trying to use it now, just testing it out, was, was not a fan at all. Spoiler for the complexion corner coming soon. But like, yeah, spoiler alert, I was not a fan of that powder. If you do have a more reddish, warm tone, undertone, that isn't golden warm tone. It's more like red undertone, then you will like it. But I just was not a personal fan. So let me spread out my face the way I normally would. And then, um... We'll be done with this for right now and I'm going to do some eyes, girl. So my, um, Glamorectrix Cosmetics, what is it, the pastel palette showed up yesterday? Or was it a couple of days ago? I'm not sure. I want to say it showed up, like, Tuesday. And I didn't get a chance to film it. Because I filmed that why you don't need that you all are watching. I figured you'd be more concerned about it instead. So... I probably towards that ahead and I feel like I was right. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like this one I'm gonna go ahead and build up so I can see right now. This is when it's gonna have to go under a pigmented cream blush. So it's like I have a peach tone cream blush from Rare Beauty and I have one from um Juvia's Place. I'm gonna have to put that there because just pressing this into the skin and doing that it has disappeared. But I'm really liking the way the bronzer looks on this eye, surprisingly. And the blush with this red one, I don't know that I necessarily would put them together in the future. But I was trying to tone down the redness and make it look a little bit better. And it's not that it looks bad. It's just, you know, since it's pulling more berries and pink like I was hoping. I feel like the colors that clash a little bit. But comment down below and tell me what you think. This is the finished face. I'm going to go make some eyeshadow videos and I'll talk to you later. Okay, girl? Okay. So I returned after a long day of wear, girl. So, if y'all remember, this is the side with the shade, what is it called, um, Butterwork. I think that was the name of this one. Let me see. Let's see on the one. Oh, sorry, Butter Days. And this one was Do Butter. And then, remember, we had the Guerlain Blush and Deep Coral on this side, and we had Deep Pink on this side. So, I think the face looks good overall. It is a different day. I do have on the same primer, but I have on different powders. So, I have on the peach pie powder from um huda the pressed brighten one and then i put the laura mercier powder and translucent honey on top now neither one of those claim to be oil um helping with control oils and mattifying and whatnot so i just want you to keep that in mind and then on the bottom of my face i have on the la Mer, um foundation powder that i bought for y'all a while ago that you saw was not really giving too much color it's in my um membership video that eventually hopefully can go up this month in march i wanted to go up in february but adrian game over so hasn't made my what do you call them the um emojis for you all so that's honestly what i'm waiting on my son to finish up the emoji so i can upload that and do the rest but anyway back to the face i think it looks pretty nice if you're curious what's on my eyes i actually have on the makeup by mario palette the neutrals palette and then i mixed it with the wizards palette from fantasy cosmetica which you haven't seen either one of those videos yet but hopefully you see both of those before you see this i don't know honey I'm here to film another video right now, but remember I need to do the outro for this. So I have on the e.l.f. Lip, pal lip Pen that's supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte ones, I think. I think that's what it's supposed to be a dupe, dupe for. Don't quote me because this one is plumping. And I don't remember the Tarte ones saying or claiming to be plumping, but they have so many versions of the same lip product now. It's a child. I don't know. But I think the face looks nice overall. 
I wish I had got to consider a little bit of a lighter shade because y'all know it's not like light enough for me personally, but you know, it's, you know, it's light or whatever, you know. Um, I brighten it up with powder and make it work for me in that sense because it's not as bright as I'd like, but when summer comes, I feel like it'll be fine and it'll go nicely and brighten up the other Guerlain foundation I have. So I like this one. It's supposed to be a matte foundation. I think it did a pretty good job of staying matte besides in places I have, you know, like my T-zone that normally gets oily. Considering the Laura Mercier powder isn't, um, not Laura Mercier, the La Mer powder isn't like mattifying. I, I think it did pretty nice overall. So I'm impressed with it. I did put some, um, yellow drops from e.l.f. in it this time when I pour it on my face just to see if there would be a difference from when we wore it on camera versus now. So you can tell me if you see a difference in the color of the foundation. I see a slight difference, but I don't feel like I see enough to wear like, you know, they really did too much. I feel like I had to put a whole bunch more in and I didn't want to change the color of the foundation to that extent. But I'm liking it overall. Now, I don't think it's worth $95. No, I do not at all. I do not think it's worth $95. I think it's nice, but $95 worth nice? No. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh-uh. So, if you can catch it on sale, I'd say go ahead and get it. But otherwise, I don't say just buy this at regular price because I just don't think it's worth that personally. But that's just me. Now, I would say you should get the concealer at regular price. I think the concealer is worth it personally because the concealer isn't super high for like a luxury product. In my personal opinion, but it all depends on what your, you know, finances allow and what you think is worth based upon the hearing my review and my thoughts. But those are my thoughts on both of these products. I do like the blushes. If you like a more like deep berryish fuchsia pink type blush, I would recommend this one. This one I would probably recommend for more if you're like tan because I feel like even though it's supposed to be a deep core I feel like it disappeared on my face and if you really like the shade like I do you're gonna have to put a cream underneath it and probably go with a deeper cream so that way um it plays onto the color that the color has something to grab onto and give more pigmentation to because even though it's supposed to be a deep core I still feel like it's not giving enough that's just my personal opinion in the summertime when I wear it that's how I'm gonna wear it because that's the only way it's gonna survive because it's not surviving now in spring with the coloring. So I definitely feel like when summer comes, it's, just, it's a wrap. It ain't happening, girl. But those are my thoughts on all the products on my face. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.